What's up guys, got another movie review for you. Uh, this one you may or may not have heard of. But I can't think of anyone who hasn't heard of this. So you know when you come across that movie uh, that you're like, wow, this is going to stick with me for a long time. And probably withstand the test of time. Um, definitely this one. Uh, so it's a, a Steven Spielberg film. And a lot of people know Steven Spielberg. You know his body of work. You know, either you're going to love him or hate him. Um, this particular film definitely sticks with uh, me personally, and I'm probably a lot of people. Uh, the film I'm talking about is Indiana Jones and uh, Raiders of the Last Ark. Now me, I like this one and uh, The Last Crusade. Those are my two favorite Indiana Jones films. Um, story uh, produced by, uh, you know, George Lucas. He had his hand in this. It's very, and it has the feel definitely. Uh, which funny is because Harrison Ford, who plays Indy, um, it also plays, uh, you know, uh, Han Solo in Star Wars. So there's that connection there. And it's a, it's a fun action adventure. You know, like everyone could see it, you know. Uh, you know, a, a lot of movies. You know, like, like when you're growing up and you're like, yeah, this one's going to stick with me. And, uh, I mean, not just this. Like you know, movies like Jurassic Park or Jaws. You know, those movies have a great story, and this is definitely one of them. And pretty much all of them, I think. In fact, uh, I'm not sure when it's going to be complete, but there's another one in the works. So we're going to get a fifth Indiana Jones movie pretty soon. Excited about that. Anyway, uh, so on to this film. Uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark It's the first one of the series to kind of establish Indiana Jones as a character. Um, and who was Indy? Alright, so Indy's like this uh, archaeologist slash uh, professor who deals with, you know, artifacts. Uh, he's got competition, mean competition. Uh, some crazy Frenchman who always kind of like, you know, ruins, you know, Indy's glory like at the last minute, you know. But anyway, uh, Indiana gets uh, recruited by the U.S. government, you know, like the Secret Service or whatever. Because um, the Nazis... Um, are doing these, you know, archaeology, archaeologist uh, type. Um, what am I trying to say? Like uh, they're they're going around, you know, uh, with their team of archaeologists looking for ancient artifacts because Hitler is obsessed with the occult, and so you know, you know the uh, the, the U.S. military gets word of trying to you know um, find a uh, archaeologist that could help them. Uh, and Indy uh, knows the guy, you know, and he's like, well, you know, I guess uh, I could help pretty much. You know, he isn't thrilled about helping, uh, but, you know, what it's about pretty much really sparks his interest because it's the Ark of the Covenant. Now, if you guys don't know what the Ark of the Covenant is, it's like this religious holding vessel pretty much. It looks like a big uh, chest pretty much with like... You know, you need people to help you open the lid. Uh, you could Google it if you know if you want to know what I'm talking about here. Um, basically, it houses the remains of the uh, Ten Commandments. You know, the commandments that um, sorry about that. Uh, the the commandments that you know God wrote supposedly and all that stuff. That, that's in these things. There's speculation where it's at. You know, Jerusalem. Egypt, Ethiopia. My money is on Ethiopia, just saying, because of the activity. And the, I guess, like, last destination. I could be wrong. Who knows where it is. But in this film, it's in Egypt. And the Nazis already got kind of like a head start. They hired that, you know, same crazy Frenchman I was talking about that's in competition with uh, Indy. Um, and it's funny how they uh, acquire this knowledge is... Um, so there's like this crazy Gestapo guy, right? And Gestapo is like a Nazi officer, you know, secret police or whatever, who's also after Indy and this amulet that pretty much gives you the directions. There's like a whole thing. You got to put the amulet like on a uh, like a stick, and the the sun at a certain time goes down. It's a whole thing. But anyway, it gives you directions of where this um, Ark of the Covenant is. So you know. Um, this Nazi tries to find it, and, like, there's, like, um, it's, like, a whole thing. So, uh, let me just back up there. So, so Indy, you know, obviously accepts his mission, um, 
and he tries to hook up with the, his friend, you know, uh, but, you know, finds out that he passed, but his friend's daughter is still living, actually, and she has the amulet. She doesn't tell him right away, but, um, uh, and there's, like, a little animosity, friction, because, you know, they used to be an item, Indy, um, and his, uh, a former friend's daughter, and, uh, yeah, so it's, it's comical, a lot of comical relief there, it's, he gets into a lot of situations, a lot of things I'm sure you guys probably seen, like, at one scene, they're in Egypt, or, uh, Morocco, or whatever, and this, you know, big, uh, swordman comes out, and he's gonna, like, tear him a new one, right, and he's like, eh, and just shoots the guy, you know, like, it's really, really cool. I mean, man's got a whip. Uh, it, it's it's really cool. Um, Indiana made, you know, uh, hats and leather jackets cool, pretty much. Uh, it's just fun. It's fun. Uh, so anyway, um, you know, they're being pursued by this, uh, you know, uh, Gestapo Nazi officer dude. But they wind up getting away. And um, it's funny because there's like a, you know, the big scuffle, right, between all of them. Uh, and the amulet gets like like caught on fire a little bit, but it, you know, it's like made out of bronze and gold, so it's not gonna burn. So this you know Nazi dude tries to grab it, but it burns an imprint in his hand. So obviously he lets it go, but he thinks this is it, you know. So he brings it back to his uh, superiors or whatever, but it's just a front piece. There's like stuff on the back. He has no idea. So Indiana Jones winds up finding, you know, going to the site where the Nazis are digging, but knows the actual location. Um. You know, like, he almost gets caught in the process. Uh, he gets caught, and, you know, we, uh, you know, see that he has a really huge problem with snakes. Snakes, you know, why did it have to be snakes, you know? <laughs> um, God, there's so much to go. It, it's such a really, really fun movie. And like I said, it's kind of, you know, made for everybody, I think. You know, I mean, everyone has is entitled to their own taste and opinions, but... You know, I don't see anyone not liking, you know, Indiana Jones. You know, just, you know, and, and there's a lot. There's a lot of uh, you know, story to tell there. You know, there's like four of them and a fifth one on the way. But uh, this one was really cool. You know, like I said, it established Indy as a character. And the second one's okay. You know, um, the Temple of Doom was awesome. Uh, I really enjoyed really enjoyed. Um, uh, the Last Crusade, I thought that was fun, and, uh, yeah, and then you had Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, which was, you know, it was okay, you know, a little, you know, kind of made him, like, an older character, obviously, you know, but, uh, yeah, it's totally up to you if you want to watch any of them, or any of them for that matter, I don't know, maybe you don't like Indiana Jones, I don't know, but, um, I don't know, like, it has that charm, you know, um, really fun, not fan. Oh, well, then again, there is like some fantasy elements there, because the the special effects. Are another thing. I mean, you, you get people like in the end melting, like there's you know, as far as violence. I mean, people get shot up or stabbed or whatever, and there's blood actually. You know, I'm not sure what it was rated. I mean, PG, but the stuff like I said, this is PG. You know, back in the day, like 1981. PG, so a little more, you know, leeway with the rating systems. Today's PG is like, you know, a baby movie, you know, but uh, or a kid's movie, whatever. But, uh, like I said, like, I don't want to spoil it, but there's a particular scene in this movie where, you know, you'll see people melt because of the consequences of what they do. But, um, Indiana Jones is a great adventure story, I think, everyone would enjoy it and uh i just, you know i don't know what to say about it um you know i could talk about it for hours but that's like the, the gist of it indiana jones is just a really cool archaeologist slash professor and he gets in trouble and you know these situations he has to you know think on the fly to get out of them and he just you know like the man's got a whip that he can use in battle and to like you know make a bridge or you know swing with it, it's it's awesome 
you know, the guy's like, you know, like a legend, pretty much. It's, it's, and it's really cool. But, uh, yeah, definitely fun. I mean, especially for, like, Harrison Ford, one of his, you know, I don't want to say his greatest movie, one of his better movies, definitely. Um, I mean, you know, and you got direction by Steven Spielberg. You really can't go wrong. This is a good, you know, family movie. This is how movies were made and supposed to look like, you know? Uh, just, you know, have a good feeling, you know, you just kind of like, you know, check your, you know, brain at the door a little bit, but it's not, you know, like I said, it, it's cool because it mixes history and uh, fantasy elements, action, adventure, you got it all, and um, if you haven't seen any Indiana Jones, for whatever reason, you know, just do yourself a favor. Watch this one, because it's the, technically the first one. So, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. All right, guys, um, that's my little review for Raiders of the Last Ark. Um, like you know, I, I can't really have anything else to say. Indiana Jones is the man. He's cool, and you know, he has a great actor and a great staff. And just overall great movie, I think. And uh, it's one of those ones that kind of stay with you from childhood. So, like I said, there's a little bit of everything for everyone in this. All right, guys. Um, well, that's all I got to say. Uh, see you all very, very soon. Stay healthy and uh, be nice to one another. All right, peace.